Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is October the 12th, 2022. Halloween Ends has had its world premiere last night at the Chinese Theater in Los Angeles, California. Uh, and the reactions are in, not the reviews, but there are several social media reactions coming in from the event last night. We're going to dive into them this morning. But before we do, our multiple choice question for this video presented by our main show at the channel, our Tuesday night show, the new show, The Overlook Drive-In. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you for Halloween ends? Despite what you hear online or from anybody else, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you Are you to go see this movie? Uh, let us know in the comment section down below. We would love to hear your thoughts. Um, look, we at Phantom Empire have... Uh, I would say we've covered this Halloween trilogy by Universal, Blumhouse, uh, David Gordon Green and Company uh, about as best as we could and being as upfront with uh, our audience as we can about it. And I definitely have some reservations about this movie, but I'm assuming nothing about this movie until I actually go in and and see the movie. You know, that that that's a big thing. You can hear whatever you want. But at the end of the day, until you see the movie for yourself and you're sitting in that seat and you're experiencing it for yourself, nothing else really matters. But if you're one of those people that reads into, you know, online social media reactions, then maybe this video is for you. By the way, take a second, click the like button, comment down below, share your thoughts on the reactions, uh, maybe your expectations on the movie. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Uh, let's dive into it here. This is going to be a quick little video. Uh, first one is from Noah Levine. Halloween Ends ties the bow in a satisfying, well-earned resolution. Jamie Lee will forever be a force to be reckoned with. Carpenter and company slay the score, takes a bold swing plot-wise, but sticks the landing with the Strode story. Shades of Christine and the Lost Boys. That's a, that's a very positive review, so that might get people stoked. And I mean, whenever we, we've already heard David Gordon Green compare this movie to Christine, uh, he talked to John Carpenter about it. Uh, he was worried it might be a little too on the nose with Christine. Uh, the Lost Boy can the Lost Boys comparison is rather interesting and uh, kind of curious to see what comes of that. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see. Uh, moving on, uh, the exorcism of Rama's screen says Halloween ends was every bit as bloody gruesome as I hoped it would be. The star-crossed lover storyline was sluggish, but holy fuck, the Lori versus Michael fi final battle was epic. Badass and satisfying Jamie Lee Curtis still got it. That's an extremely positive review. Um, the, uh, the, the epic final battle is definitely a thing in this movie. Uh, we've seen it in the trailers. People uh, are definitely you know clamoring for it. And I do, I do feel confident in saying you do get a Michael versus Laurie showdown at the end of this movie. Uh, how it delivers remains to be seen, but obviously the exorcism, uh, the exorcism of Rama screen, uh, quite liked it. Let's move on to another one. Uh, Matt Thompson says Halloween ends is a lot. It's the anti H two O. The movie's so lean it doesn't have time for subplots. Ends has a zillion things going on at once. All of them interesting on their own, but mashed together, it just feels like a ton of stuff without forward momentum. Uh, I think that's that's you know sort of kind of in the middle. It's, it's probably more on the negative side than the positive side, um, but it's also you know maybe uh, the the least bias of the review so far, and him just trying to give uh, the people that follow him on social media an idea about the movie without clouding their judgment. I, uh, I credit Matt for that. Uh, Edwin says Halloween ends delivers the gleefully gory long awaited showdown in the slasher genres history. But unfortunately it requires waiting through a plot to lud ludicrously pointless and unnecessarily convoluted plot for the feature length treatment, let alone a trilogy capper five out of 10. We've been saying at fandom empire for almost a year now, it feels like that. As a as a movie, it seems like it could be a, a really you know fun horror movie to go see, but as the final installment in a trilogy, all of us were left scratching our heads with some of the creative decisions that were made. Again, I'm going to reserve judgment till I see them on screen, but this kind of lines up with what we've been saying. 
Uh, Forrest Majur says, Halloween Ends was so unnecessary. We really did not need the last two films. Also, cheap in uh, capital letters. Writing was not it. Uh, especially with that wild intro that made us get, get us strapped in. Uh, I know what he's talking about with the intro there. Um, and the intro, in, in fairness, doesn't lie to the audience. It, it's, a, uh, it's a presentation of what you can expect in the movie. Uh, definitely on the negative side here, but I'm not entirely sure that he's wrong with what he says. Grant McDowell says, Halloween Ends is a baffling installment take in this series and a truly head-scratching tarot into truly head-scratching territories, which are not only poorly executed, but also disregards prior installments. He's not talking about, you know, Halloween 2, 4, 3, 5, 6. He's talking about the movies in this trilogy. And I would have to agree with him in terms of what we've heard at the channel. I have a feeling that fans of this series are going to hate it. And yeah, I, I've been pretty upfront with saying, I think there's some creative decisions that are made in this movie that some people are not going to be able to look past. But those of you that are, I think, might get more enjoyment out of this movie. So keep that in mind. Uh, and this last one contains some minor spoilers, I would say. Um, so be warned if you want to check out now. We appreciate it. Uh, but here we go. Uh, Brendan Dower says, uh, I'm not saying I hated the film, but I don't think it should have taken 25 minutes for Michael Myers to show up to his own party. 25 minutes might be being generous in, in that regard. Uh, when he finally does, it's for like five seconds, meaningful seconds that set up the events of the rest of the film. But seriously, dot, 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 Halloween ends. And uh, his second post kind of went into some spoilers that I don't want to just blurt out here on screen. So I'm not going to show that one. Um, I, I have the same concerns Brendan has here. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Again, until I see the film, though, I'm I'm probably slightly more hopeful and optimistic than some of these guys are, but these guys have seen the film, and I have not. And uh, I'm not at all surprised at the reception of this film online, whether it's the Rotten Tomatoes audience scores, which are incredibly negative so far, and the social media reactions. Uh, I know there's you know people that are going to say there's way more positive than negative, but uh, we've done some searching this morning, and that's simply not true. Uh, there's far more negative and, you know, somewhere in the middle than there is positive. I'm not surprised that this is the reaction to it. But again, I'm hopeful of going in there tomorrow and seeing just a, a really well put together horror movie. And I'm going to try to leave everything else uh, out of it. But at the end of the day, this is the final installment of a trilogy. And when you don't treat it as such, you're bound to get fan backlash. But the question is, how do you guys feel about the social media reactions for Halloween ends? Are you more positive about it? Are you more negative? Do you just not care because your opinion is your own? And ultimately what I say and what anybody else says online should not affect your enjoyment of this movie. Comment down below, share your thoughts. Halloween ends is actually screening in various places today. Uh, and we'll also have a, have all the er traditional early screenings start tomorrow on the Thursday. So how are you seeing it? What version of the movie are you seeing it? Are you seeing it in Dolby? Are you seeing it in standard 2D? Are you seeing it in IMAX? Let us know. Uh, we would love to hear what you have to say. But that's going to do it for us. Don't forget that you can uh, support the channel by heading on over to Patreon, patreon.com slash fandom empire, where we have our exclusive Halloween show, Lampkin Lane, available to those that uh, subscribe to the Lampkin Lane tier. And just last night, we live streamed our latest episode of the Overlook Drive-In where we dive inside Halloween H2O as well as take a look at what the Friday, what the new Friday the 13th movie might look like as well as a final preview of Halloween Ends. And the week before, we dove inside Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. That's going to do it for us. We're only a day away. The Boogeyman is in fact coming.